तो आई नो दिस वीडियो इज डेडिकेटेड टू मैगूमी बट आई कुडेंट हेल्प एंड वी आर माई नाव टू हेड मैन बिकॉज इट्स रामन एंड वी ऑल नो नारूटो इज नॉट अबाउट क्रेजी निंजाज डूइंग क्रेजी शेट इट्स अबाउट नारूटो ईटिंग रामन एंड फीलिंग होल्स विद दैट सेड I am uh, okay. Then this is not not an exact recipe for Megumi's ramen. It's more kind of an inspiration. It's uh, light broth with thin noodles. That's what Megumi did, and I took that as a base. I made a mushroom broth with egg noodles. So let's move on to the video so that I can better understand how did I use that inspiration I took. From Megumi's ramen against. So let's first do our mise en place. <laughs> I am going to use right here. We have enoki mushrooms, shimaji mushrooms, and shiitake mushrooms with some ginger and this cute little vegetable uh, vegetable stock pack. Now the thing is, this is inspired from Megumi's ramen dish in the order selection, but it's exactly not that. Uh, I'm also going to use carrots, blue carrots, and some lemon because why not? It's going to be wasted in block broth. It's kind of you could say it's kind of a mixture of Joichiro ramen uh, when he when he did his shokuei here in Soma and Megumi's ramen in the autumn selection. That all aside, let's focus on here. Uh, you are going to need all of these and. Um, One thing that I'm going to also use is egg noodles, which I believe Megumi used egg noodles instead of actual flour noodles. So uh, keep that in mind. Megumi did use egg noodles. Uh, also, you are going to need a big saucepan in which you're going to put in water for the stock, of course. All this is going to go into one pot for the stock. Now we are going to first cut these up, real nice. Just cut the buds of the enoki mushroom. You don't have to cut them really fine. With same with the uh, shimaji mushrooms, ginger. Just slice it up. No need to grate or peel the thing. We are going to strain it out eventually. The carrots, of course. We'll Peel the carrots and cut it in half. Cut it in half and now in pieces. Um, easier. Same with the other carrot. Now get to the sauce pot. You are going to put in water. I would say three cups, three to four cups. Ginger, mushroom, carrots, shiitake mushroom. Also, don't cut the shiitake mushrooms as well. You, you, we don't need to cut them. All right. Put the bud of the shiitake mushroom. It, it was there in the pan. So, with the bud, you put it in there for I would say three hours. And after three hours, I also did put some garlic in. I forgot to tell you. Uh, take out all the mushroom pieces, not the bud. Not the whole stick of the shiitake mushroom that was there, but actual edible mushroom pieces. I did also put that um, Maggie's uh, stock one, and you have to let it go for an hour now. And now we are going to do our noodles. I'm not making egg noodles from scratch because again, I don't know, man. It's from what I've heard and seen, it's really hard. So I'm going to use ready-made egg noodles because why not? These are actually very really tasty, amazing. I'm going to put just an estimated amount of how much you need in a pot of boiling water. So these are done. 
so that's the estimate amount that we need and after they are done do put oil in them so that they don't stick now we are going to make that chili sauce that Mahabhi made I'm going to use red jalapenos one red jalapeno should be enough for this recipe let's cut it in half and we are going to anyways going to put food processor you have it's like no need to actually uh, finely chop it just roughly chop the thing and you're good to go I'm also going to put garlic in this because why not it's, it's going to taste good anyways I'm going to put garlic. Thank God the garlic came up. It will never come. <laughs> now cut up your garlic. I would say two, three cloves should be enough. Again, no need to chop these. Now, our noodles are done. Almost. I'm going to give them another two minutes. So they are al dente. I know al dente is in Japanese, but okay. Take your food processor and we are going to put these in the food processor. I'm also going to add a little bit of water so that it can get. Uh, can get some uh, body to it. And in the, after the food processor, it is here, and I'm going to put it in a ramekin, small ramekin. Yeah, you have no need to. If you really want to cook this, you can cook this. If you can handle raw garlic and raw chilies, you can. It's no. It would be no harm. It would not harm you, especially if you eat it raw. But many, many people cannot handle raw garlic and raw chilies, so you can cook them and sweeten them up a little bit if you want. I'm not, I can handle that. So, so that's our chili sauce that's ready for the ramen. And now we are going to go into the last stages, which is assembling the ramen. I said assembling the ramen. Okay, it's gonna take some time. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah, it's fine here. Yeah. Alright, we're going to assemble the ramen and I'm going to apologize in advance because I did something really wrong. In this one, I put the noodles first. As per what I've, I've heard in tra traditional ramen, the soup goes first the noodles first but I'm really sorry for this, really sorry for this. now um, put your broth in first put your broth in then put your noodles I'm really sorry I did this the broth doesn't exactly look white but can't help it she used scallops I'm using mushrooms I'm, I'm making kind of a vegetarian version of this not really I'm going to use shrimp for topping but it's fine now you should remove your mushrooms in a bowl of water because it helps them cool down and not overcook and put in enoki mushrooms which shall already be brown because of the shimaji mushrooms that are brown and why won't it sit straight again okay, i'll use my hand another piece of um, shiitake mushrooms some more enoki mushrooms now goes in our white shimaji mushrooms which are also brown because of the shiitake mushrooms now goes in the last piece of our shiitake mushroom and now we are going to put our shrimp on it and if you really want to learn how to make if you want to know how, how did I make that kind of shrimp 
you should check out my uh, shrimp band uh, mushroom sauté uh, stir fry video. I'm going to link it in the icon above and in the description below. Now take your chopsticks and get ready to date. So guys, if you like the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you love the video, please spread to our channel. Don't forget to uh, put in uh, ring the bell icon, and it's bye for me.